Miami, Oklahoma, the crown jewel of the entire summer. And it's right here on TMB TV as we bring you all of the action. It's going to be an exciting weekend of events. We've got a lot of contenders for the King of Miami this year. It'll be interesting to see how it all works out. It's time to get down to all of the action. Let's get down to the track. Important factor in all of this is the track. Changes a little bit every year. This year, we've got a Chicago style track similar to previous years. Two jumps on each straightaway, a little bit different than we see in a lot of Chicago style setups. Also, reverse Chicago style. So rather than making left-hand turns, they're making right-hand turns. That could mentally affect some of the drivers. This could be a big challenge this weekend. Also, with the Chicago style track, we've been able to move some freestyle obstacles in and even up both ends of the track. So drivers will have a lot of great opportunities on each end of the track as they work back and forth We've got bus stacks on either end. We've got a pod for poppers. We've got some tires buried in the back of race lane. We've got jackrabbits. We've got step ups. We've got a little bit of everything and it always creates a whole lot of havoc and excitement. I love Miami. It's a great, It's. I love the fairgrounds. I love the crowd. I love the hype of the whole show. So super exciting, makes me a little nervous. It's a big, you know, there's a lot of good guys here. So I have to hold up to that, right? So. And it's the whole king of Miami. I gotta go for that. So, um, but it's fun. It's lots of fun. I'm I'm excited to be here. I'm excited. You know, we're just gonna let the cards fall where they may. But if they're gonna win, they're gonna have to come through me. What do you think is the secret to capturing that king of Miami title? Just going for it every competition, whether it's two wheel racing, freestyle. Like you have to be going for it and lay all your cards out every single time. You can't hold anything back. You know, there is 12 stacked trucks here. Uh, and some good hitters. Uh, coming into tonight, I think I go out pretty late in the end for uh, freestyle and two-wheel skills. So with that being said, I'm gonna sit back and watch everybody else's faults and uh, just let the uh, brain stew and watch what the track does because it is gonna take some serious carnage and skill to win this event. And uh, after uh, the throwdown last weekend for King of Springfield, I know coming into tonight, I got four more hitters out of Indiana coming at me, and uh, we're just gonna have to lay it all down. Brittany, you got the gator all spiffed up and shined up? I think so, I think it's ready to go. What do you expect from Tim this weekend? Oh, nothing but the best, always. We're gonna see some gator stands, some tail stands, maybe some uh, dental work? <laughs> for sure, for sure. I think he's ready to rip and roar this weekend. So. Does he have extra confidence knowing that you're going to put the truck back together for him? Mm, he's probably got plenty of confidence in himself. No, definitely not for me. <laughs> well, if there's never been a truer statement made. Tim Jones not lacking for confidence this weekend. I'd look for him to be a top competitor in the King of Miami. We're hoping to take uh, the fifth King of Miami trophy, but it's going to be a hard show and everything. The track's bigger like they every, every year and uh, it's just going to be a great time. Come out here, cheer us on, and we're just going to have a lot of fun. We just talked to Devin Jones in the Barbarian, the first in our field of 12 monster trucks. We've got a great cast here this weekend. Let's meet some of them. First off, we've got the 20th anniversary War Wizard, first time in Miami. Up next, we've got the Tailgater. We talked to Whitney a little bit earlier. She's expecting big things from Tim Jones. But I think we've got another superstar co-piloting with Tim Jones. It's Doug. Doug is his co-pilot, and he provides all of the support he needs. Doug, can you talk to us for a sec? Nothing? You gonna cold shoulder us? All right, we'll be back later. We'll catch you later. But moving on down the field, we've got Rockwell Red out of the Team Throttle Monster Camp. And then we've got Wildside. We've seen him do big things here before with Zach Garner behind the wheel, but this year, Mark McDonald, not far from home, lots of experience, and it'll be great to see Mark behind the wheel of the wild side. Then we've got Miss Overboard this year, Jamie Garner in Overboard, another big time competitor, but this year, Deidre Ballard driving Miss Overboard. Then we've got the Flying Dump Truck, Dirt Crew usually piloted by Jerry Beck, but this weekend hired gun, John Zimmer behind the wheel. We could see huge things out of the dump truck as well. 
And this is an exciting one, all the way out to Oklahoma, Rat Attack. This should be an awesome truck to watch here on this Miami track and a front engine truck. So that's going to be a little bit different setup than we've seen on all of the other trucks. I expect some big wheelies. This guy could be a lot of fun to watch. Now it's the all new truck out of the DCT Power Sports Camp. It's Blockhead. We've all built with the classic building blocks, but these guys took it to another level with the all new Blockhead looking to build a fan base here in Miami. As we head on down the line, Jack Brown with the Dirt Crew Dozer. This has been a wild concept truck that's really taken the industry by storm. Jack Brown's been really growing in his role with the Dozer. He could do some awesome things as well. This is a big one. It's Velociraptor driven by Too Tall. Too Tall's been around for years. He finally got the chance to step behind the wheel, putting on phenomenal shows with his brand new Velociraptor identity. Rounding out the field here in Miami, it's Alec White in Bad Decision. He's been here a couple of times. He's looking to improve his position in the King of Miami. I think there's only one thing to do, and that's to see some of the action. Thank you. 
quite sure what's going on. We kind of got it figured out. It started up fine back here, but when I tried to go out the race, it wouldn't start, wouldn't start, wouldn't start. I'm doing everything in the cab, resetting stuff and not changing anything. And then it just randomly it fired up one of the times. So I was like, oh, we'll be good to go. And come out of the first turn, this thing was fast, man. I was going to be fast all night. I could already tell. And it just shut off. I don't know what happens. We'll see what happens for the rest of the weekend. Greg 
go through. Gets it to go back down. He's coming around. Final corner. How many of you guys are pulling for the Jeep Grand Cherokee and Rusty Goff? Who's going for Dan Williams and the Mustang? And once again, he's running blind. Oh, he's going to try to make a turn with the hood still up. He's doing a great job, but the Jeep Grand Cherokee is running smooth. But how about a round of applause? Oh my goodness! The Mustang doing a really first matchup. We're going to see this is going to be Afterburner going up against whatever, and this is for a spot in the finals.
Squad fans, how about your seats? Wave those checkered flags. What an opening freestyle from Jack Brown and Gilson.
hands. He was going big for you. He was putting together a big run.
no trouble for the tailgater just as he was really getting it going. Truck shuts off. Let's see if he can refire. Yeah, they're saying down here it's a fuel issue, fuel not getting to the truck, so...
Oh my goodness, dirt crew shut off in mid-air, hard crash. Did it die? Yes. Unbuckle. It got off. Here, ready? I'm gonna unhook you. Put, get ready. Drop your feet. I'm fine. Right, I'm not hurt. I'm fine. Okay. We need to get some scores for Dirt Crew. He was on an incredible run. It's the 23 to do the beat. I'm gonna check in uh, with our officials real quick. They're a little busy at the moment, but we're gonna get these. Miami, Oklahoma, listen to this, 25 points, you're the leader, Dirt Crew! Miami, Oklahoma, Dirt Jones, It's night two in Miami with all of the monster truck superstars chasing that king of Miami crown. Last night, one of the stars of the show, the Dirt Crew, the flying dump truck, certainly did some of that, but it also did some spectacular crashing in freestyle as the power cuts out and little John Zimmer wadding up the big dump truck, leaving a lot of work for the crew overnight. All of the teams putting in the time and really wrenching on these trucks to stay after the points in this championship fight as we get to light it up in Miami. This is 
the 18th year for TMB TV in Miami, and technology has definitely changed over the years. Right now, the crew casually sitting on the pit box reviewing last night's video, something that wasn't even a possibility when TMB TV first started in Miami. And so great to have technological advances. How does it help you guys? I just thought you see how far off the ground you actually got because in the truck you really can't tell you think you're really up in the air but you're not so it's good to watch the video see where you did good where you could have like went faster went higher so it's always fun to watch little john you had a rough night last night towards the end of the night things uh went sideways well they went nose down but uh what did you learn from the video well i think if it went sideways it could have been a lot worse so we definitely went down but uh i don't know the problem started in racing couldn't make it out for racing and then uh we thought we fixed it back here. Obviously did not fix it. And uh, Lon darted that thing pretty good, tore it up, but we got one more show to go. Hopefully we fixed it. How do you feel today? Anything after a, a big hit like that or are you pretty safe and sound? Oh, I was fully safe. I'm lucky enough that I have, uh, I got two seats now so that I can keep throwing around in between all the trucks that I keep bouncing around in between during the summer season. So I'm very thankful I had my seat in there. No, no bruises, no sores. Got out of the truck, walked away fine, and I'm still feeling good right now. How do you approach tonight? Uh, I'm not changing anything. We're just gonna go out there wide open the whole time. Hopefully it sticks. Hopefully we're there at the end. I think we're one point down from Devin right now, so just gonna go out there, let that thing have it just like I was last night. Hopefully it just doesn't shut off on me. We're down here with John Sokowski with the DCT Power Sports team. It was a big night last night. It was a rough night last night. Lots of broken parts. Tell us a little bit about what happened. Well, we had last night we had Blockhead went out, had a little bit of rear steer issues, ended up replacing an electric motor on that, which wasn't too bad. Then Dozer was probably the only truck that had no damage, and then Dumpy, well, we kind of saw what happened there. Ended up ripping apart the front corner, placed tether system. Luckily enough, a lot of the parts were able to reuse, not too many things that were totally damaged. But it ended up being a long day of work and we're trying to figure out what the electrical gremlins are going on in it because John Zimmer Jr. shut off right about right about on that takeoff on the bus. So we've been really stressing about that today, trying to figure out what's going on. But we replaced a few parts and we think we got ahead of it. Yeah, we're sitting here leading by one, but I mean, if you sit there and bobble one little thing, I mean, my racing was horrible. I Steering locked up on me, that hurt me. I lucked out, Dirt Crew had problems. He got knocked out in the first round. So we're sitting there battling back and forth, but we're gonna try to take the win right off the bat and see if we can go in the second round or so in racing and try to make them earn the points.
the donut, did you notice the steering wheel up out of the window? Jack Brown showing off. Yeah. <laughs> 
is stopping by the merchandise stand. Grab yourself a t-shirt, toy truck, or your favorite.
still pan out, you know, uh, every, everything, uh, yeah. it didn't pan out the way I wanted to go, but with uh, all this competition out here, you can't do the same thing over and over. But I'm happy to say, these guys over there, you know, there were some good skilled drivers that done some good stuff, and I feel like I'll take the support on behalf of the three other guys that had some excellent stuff, and I'm going to share it out with them because... I just tried something silly to just be different, but there's some guys that have some good talent over there that kind of, I think, deserve that over me. So I'm going to pass that off to them. Thank you, guys. Very good to see you. Your first winner of the night, Tim Jones, the tail here. Both trucks are stage. They're looking for green. First race, coming to the line.
out for two wheel. Boys said, hey dad, try backflip. I didn't get to see the last two hits on the tires. Unfortunately, they let go and I done one massive inverted sky wheelie. Uh, done some frame damage. Gonna have it all fixed tomorrow. We're gonna get through tonight. Uh, racing, I'm on fire. Coming down to the last four rounds, so we're gonna see what happens after this. Little, little brake issue. Brakes felt a little soft in uh, two wheel. I changed the brake pads yesterday or this morning because they felt uh, felt like they needed to, and felt a little soft in two wheel. So I went out for first round of racing against Tim, and uh, about halfway through the race, the brakes were mushy. So I came back here and changed out the caliper. New caliper is going on. We'll be ready to burn it down for freestyle. It's fine now, but the pump was running in auto, so I shut it off, and it was still stirring back and forth. But now it's working. So it must have just had like an air pocket or something. Yeah, it's full of air. We have to go. We're go oh, ahead and been checked for a minute. Guess not. Well, if they're going to run the rear steer, don't put your helmet on that tire. Put it on the rear oh, I had some rear steer issues. We made it into the second round of racing and I missed a couple jumps and we sit there and eliminate ourselves. But I mean, when you have no rear steer and you're sitting there still taking a won the first race with no rear steer. I mean, that's pretty impressive. So we're still trying to go for them points uh, every competition, but we only have one more left and that's freestyle.
Oilers, Oklahoma Zone, Mark McDonald, the Wild Side.
Corner as he comes up out of there. John Silver Jr. Thank you. Thank you. 